happy Friday. Um, I hope you guys are all having a good Friday and you're ready to uh, work work hard this um, weekend to get prepared for Monday when you officially start if you haven't already. And I hope you are enjoying the sunshine. I don't know if it's sunny where you are, but it's finally sunny where I am, so I'm enjoying it. Um, I wanted to go live in here today to talk to you guys about some of the most common mistakes that I see when people are starting out and following the with following the program. So number one most common mistake I see is people not reading the nutrition booklet. So like I showed you in the video I made of how to navigate Beach Body on Demand, if you did not if you did not go watch that yet, you can watch it now, but the video I showed you how to navigate Beachbody on demand, I showed you clicking the 21 day fix and opening the eating plan. Make sure that you are reading your eating plan front to back, the whole booklet, front to back. Take it with you the first week so you can look back and reference it. Um, make sure, so number one common mistake I see is people not reading their nutrition booklet front to back. Second is not reading, people not reading the page about swaps and drinks. So a lot of times people will put almond milk in their Shakeology in the morning or whenever they're having it. That is a yellow swap. So make sure that, hey Brittany, make sure that you guys read that page about the drinks and swaps because three times a week you can swap a yellow container for one of the approved cheats and almond milk, orange juice, wine, things like that count as a yellow container swap so you cannot be putting almond milk in your shake every single day and not counting it as anything um, because that is a cheat swap for a yellow container so make sure you read that page about that um, and anything that you put in your shake counts as a container. So if you put banana, half a banana is a purple. If you put um, peanut butter, you have to be counting that as teaspoons. If you put almond milk, that's a yellow swap container. Um, and you only get three yellow swaps a week. So make sure you read that page. Um, third thing, the third mistake that people make is not eating enough. Ladies. I'm talking to you too, okay? You cannot go into this thinking that if I don't eat my yellow containers, if I skip my carbs, I'm, I'll lose weight faster. No, you will not. What will happen is your body will actually hold on to that weight and most likely, most likely it will hold on to it in that midsection area that you're trying to get rid of it. So do not do this. Do not skip your yellow containers. I want you to eat all of your carbs I want you to eat all of your containers every day, okay? So don't go into this thinking that if you skip a yellow container every day, you'll lose weight faster because that's not how the plan is designed. It's designed to work and it's not going to work if you don't follow it to a T. So do not think that you are going to lose more weight if you skip your containers and you don't eat enough because that is going to do the opposite and your, your body is going to go into starvation mode one or it's going to not be getting what it needs and it's going to take from other areas and it's going to hold on to that fat and store it because it's not getting what it needs so do not skip your containers um, I want you to eat your carbs the next biggest thing this most common mistake I see is people eating more than one or their one blue and orange. So everybody on this, no matter if you have a hundred pounds to lose, if you have five pounds to lose, if you have ten pounds to gain, no matter what, every single person is on the same, um, every single person only gets one blue and one orange container. Because those foods pack a big punch. These foods, even though those containers are the smallest ones, they have a lot of fat in them and that is why everybody only gets one blue and one orange so make sure that you're not thinking oh it's small it's just almonds I can just eat twice as many of them no eat your one blue and orange container a day and don't go over on those um, next thing is don't think that you need to add in extra workouts okay I only do my 30 to 45 minute 
Beachbody workout that is on the workout calendar. I don't go in and do my workout that's 30 minutes and then go to the gym and try to run for an hour. Okay, that's going to do the same thing as when you're skipping your containers. You are supposed to be following this workout plan and you're supposed to be following the, the workout calendar and this nutrition plan. And if you don't follow those, it's not going to work. So when you're adding in all these extra workouts, you're not getting the calories and the foods that you need for the amount of energy that you are burning off. So you need to follow the plan. Don't think that by you adding an extra hour of cardio a day, you're going to lose weight faster because that's actually not what's going to happen. You're doing your body no favors by doing that. So don't be adding in extra workouts. Follow the workout calendar. Um, and another thing is make sure that you have taken your before pictures and your measurements and that you've posted them because the most common mistake I see as well is people don't take those before pictures. They don't take their measurements. And I told them and they don't do it. And then we get to... <clears throat> the end of the three weeks or the end of the 30 days and they're kicking themselves in the butt. They're like, wow, I really should have taken those measurements because now I feel all these changes but I can't see them because I don't have the pictures and I don't have the numbers. Um, so make sure you take those before pictures and measurements and post them in here um, over the weekend if you haven't already. And then last thing is people not pushing themselves enough. So make sure that you are bumping up your weights. If you are doing your program, um, even if there is no weights, you are working to your max every time. So making sure that you are pushing yourself to get more reps every time, that you are upping your weights if it's not burning anymore. Like if you get to week two and you should be upping your weight some or at least doing more reps of things. So make sure that you continue to push yourself so that you can continue to have results because if you don't ever push yourself, you're not going to go anywhere. Okay, so those are the most common mistakes that I see people make um, when they are on this program or really anytime they're trying to lose weight or do a diet or anything like that is not following it. So make sure that you um, aren't making those mistakes that I just explained. Okay, well, I hope you guys all have a good Friday and enjoy your weekend.